just hours before the opening of 18th National Congress of Communist Party of China, I'm very honored to interview Mr. Martin Schulz, who is the President of the European Parliament. Mr. Martin Schulz is also a leader of the Socialist and the Democratic Party of Germany. This is the headquarter building of his party in Berlin. Good morning, Mr. President. During the past decade, you are very active in uh, uh, boosting exchange uh, within the Chinese uh, Communist Party and the European uh, uh, Parliament parties. So can you uh, sum up the achievements between the party exchanges? The Communist Party of China suggested uh, some years ago to uh, me as uh, this time leader of the Social Democratic Group in the European Parliament a meeting between all the European parties and the Communist Party of China. And I was surprised because I thought to which extent this is useful, uh, that the Communist Party meets all the parties. Uh, I participated now since then in two of such meetings and I knew it was a very good idea because it is bringing also to China a kind of pluralistic approach to the political debate. And I was surprised last time in Beijing about the very open-minded exchange of views between the PCC and the European different parties, from the Liberals to the Greens, Social Democrats, Conservatives, Christian Democrats. It was a very interesting and uh, very pluralistic debate. As you know, uh, China-EU uh, summit has just finished uh, uh, one month ago. So in your opinion, what are the striking achievements during the past decade uh, of the bilateral relationship. The European Union and China are uh, two of the decisive uh, countries and uh, European Union country community about the future of the world. The question of climate change, worldwide trade relations, our currency relations, the fight against worldwide uh, fraud and criminality stabilization of peace, fight against hunger in the world. These are common duties and uh, therefore we share an enormous responsibility. China made an enormous development economically during the last 10 years, uh, well, the last 30 years, we must admit, but in the last 10 years it was a boost to the profit for the European market, but also the opening of the European market for China, Chinese products was to the profit of China. So we have a, a mutual interest and shared duties. When talking about uh, China-EU relationship, uh, two issues so, uh, of, uh, that uh, is uh, market economy status and also army uh, embargo are frequently uh, raised during the summit. So what are your uh, expectations to lifting the army embargo? Is it, is it possible for the European Union to lift this embargo before the United States? I think we should be honest. In the European Union, uh, you need for uh, lifting the embargo, the embargo to China a unanimous vote. And uh, you know uh, that uh, amongst the 27 member states of the European Union, some of the member states are against the lifting of the embargo. So this is a very theoretical uh, debate. And, uh, uh, the other point, uh, the question of economic cooperation between the European Union and China. I think our economic relations are uh, decisive for the future of the world. China is the most important, uh, most growing economy. China and your neighbor India, in both of the countries together, is living a third of world population in relation to you. We with our five, you 500 million. Europeans, we are not so important, but economically, from the point of view of technology, from the knowledge, Europe is uh, a leading force in the world. So, in the, to combine our two uh, capacities and uh, possibilities, China on one hand and the European Union on the other hand, could be very fruitful for the future of uh, our world. My final question. Uh, what is uh, your comment about uh, uh, ongoing China-Japan territory dispute over Diaoyu Dao Islands? I fear this situation. I'm quite open. And I admit that uh, the tension between China and Japan during uh, the last uh, month uh, are worrying me a lot. And my recommendation, if I can give a recommendation, 
is to try to solve problems always by dialogue and not by confrontation. And this is necessary for both of the sides.